Okay, welcome back. This is part two of my uh, personal messaging system. And in the last video, we uh, started it. Uh, uh, we pretty much, I, we set up the uh, variables and everything needed to actually start getting our information and whatnot. Uh, so, um, what we need to do now is where our numrows function does not equal, or our numrows variable does not equal zero, this is where we're going to set a while loop that is going to get every single piece of information for each message. So literally, it's going to get every single thing, every single field. So all eight fields, I think it is. Yeah, eight. It's going to get all eight fields uh, using the fetch a sock method or function, whatever it is. Yeah, it's fetch a sock uh, function. So we're going to sort it in a variable called row, and we're just going to equal to mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock. And I'm off screen. There we go. Uh, so if you don't know, the fetch a sock method or fetch associative, it's an array that gets uh, a that gets data for each row in a database. So for each message, each message it's its own row. So the fetch associative uh, function gets each row, and if we put it into a while loop, it'll run through every single message that is selected by our query which in here we put our query. So it's going to get every single message that's selected by our query and we're going to get all the information for it, from it. So uh, I'm going to put a prefix on the, each of our variables here and the prefix is going to be dollar sign uh, it's going to be msg underscore uh, and I, I do this a lot when I'm making my own websites I put prefixes on each thing um, so yeah um, so the things we need to get, if we go back to our thing, we need to get ID to user, to ID, from user, from ID, subject, content, and date. So all eight of those. So the first thing we're going to start off with is ID. So equals dollar sign row brackets, not curly brackets, just standard brackets. Uh, oh, sorry. ID. So if you want, you can just copy and paste this eight times. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can get that eight times, and uh, we're going to change each of these to the correct value here. So, which actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So from user. Um, and then we have our subject, and then content. And then date. So then you just have to copy and paste each of these into here, which if you want, which should probably go faster, is just to type it in manually. <coughs> I can spell things correctly. Oh, that's two. Okay, so we've gotten all of the information about each message that's been selected, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply echo out these messages. So we're just going to put an echo statement. Uh, and because we don't have anything in our database, it's not going to display anything. We're just going to keep getting you have no messages in your inbox, our, our message there. So I'm just going to insert some dummy values. Now, uh, what I do is when people register at my site, once I'm done with my message system, uh, a message is automatically going to be sent to them saying it'll be from my account saying oh welcome to the site blah 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 and all that so the to user I'm just going to set to basics nix uh, which is my username for my site obviously and the from user is going to be the same thing because it's sending it to myself from myself if that makes any sense and the ID for my account is just one which eventually once we get further on, I will create another user that I'll show you that you can actually send messages to people, to other people. Our subject is just going to be welcome. Yay. Uh, 
Welcome to the site. I don't know, something fast. On our date. Now, the current date, I believe, is May 15th, uh, 2010. So this is going to be our format for our date. We're going to have the month in full letters. It's going to have the full month, no abbreviations. Um, which, actually, we might do abbreviations. I don't know. We'll have the month, and then a space, then the day, a comma, space, and then the year. So we're going to click Go. So since that loads, we have now... We now have a message, yay! So you can see we have our our, uh, our dummy message right here. So we can actually get back to our scripting. So the first thing we're going to do is just to uh, just to show you is we're going to get a link, and our link is going to be to profile. PHP ID equals dollar sign. Uh, from ID. So this is going to be a link to whoever sent the message. It's going to be a link to their user profile, uh, which is kind of nice if you have the ability to do this. And then the, uh, oh, actually, we forgot our prefix on here. There we go. So if you want, you can just copy that. A message from user. So if we refresh, we still have that. Uh, where to ID equals username? Okay, so we're getting an error, obviously. So I'm going to pause the video and figure out what's wrong. Okay, so I figured out what the problem is immediately after I paused it. Um, and we, because we have our to ID, and that should be to user. So, yeah. So if we refresh. We now have just a username that's being echoed. So if we click it, it opens up to a, a profile page. It's a simple profile page for now. Um, and uh, so that shows that we're actually getting our information. Uh, now it's just a matter of displaying this information however you would like. Uh, so I already know the way I want mine to be displayed. So it's all about personal preference, though. Uh, and something real quick I'm going to add uh, is right here. Target equals uh, underscore blank. Now, adding this to any link or anything you can click on, which I guess would be a link, um, target equals underscore blank. Uh, all that does is it makes it so when you click on a link, normal click, it'll automatically open it into a new tab. So, it's just something to know. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to be displaying uh, many, many things. So what I'm going to do is each thing is going to be displayed in a, seco in a separate echo statement. So we're going to have a few echo statements here. Uh, so right here, we're going to say uh, our, I guess we'll just get everything displayed first. So msg underscore subject. So, if we save and refresh, see we have our subject, welcome. And then, we're going to have another echo. This is going to be the msg underscore date. So, we're going to have our date. And we're going to use the float method. Or, I don't know what it would be called for CSS, but we're going to use float. And we're going to float all of our information. And it's going to look real nice and fancy like it did originally. So, I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we'll just continue on with the messaging system. So, check out the next video.